In this tutorial, we will look at the document approval feature of a library. When document approval is enabled, it requires that new or changed documents must be approved before they are visible to the other site users. A team site owner or administrator has the permission level to approve documents. To enable document approval, the first thing we'll do is open the document library. So I'll do that by clicking on the library name over on the quick launch here, Shared Documents, and then choosing the Library Tools tab. And then over on the right, click on Library Settings. And in the Library Settings screen, click on Versioning Settings. So at the top here, I will choose Yes to require content approval. And then we'll take a look at the area down here, Draft Item Security. A draft item would be a document that has not yet been approved. So in this section, we can choose who can view these unapproved or draft item documents. The default is those who have been given the permission to approve documents, which are team site owners or administrators, and the author of the document, which is the person who uploaded the document. The other two choices would be any user who can read items or users who can edit items. So we'll, we'll leave this at the default selection of only those who can approve items. Then I'll go to the bottom and choose OK to save the settings. This returns me to the library settings screen and then on the breadcrumb trail I return to the shared documents library. So next I'm going to log in as a team member who does not have administrator permissions but does have the permission to upload and edit documents. So as you can see, I'm now logged in as John Keller, and I'm going to upload a document. So I've uploaded this new document, and if you look on the far right here, a new column was added when the approval was turned on to indicate the approval status of each document. The documents that were already uploaded are approved, and the document I just uploaded as John Keller has a pending status. And I just want to point out, even though I was able to upload the document in the document menu, I don't have a choice in here to change the document approval status. So next I will log in as an administrator and approve the document. So now I've logged in as myself, an administrator. And when I click the drop down for the document menu, I have an option to approve and reject documents. So I'll select that option. It's currently at the pending status. I can reject it or approve it. So I'll select approve. And it also provides a comment box if I want to add a comment, why it was rejected, or any other type of comment. And then I'll select OK. And now back in the library, the document is indicated as approved. And all the site users can now see this document. Next, we'll take a look at editing a document in the library that was previously approved and see how once it's edited, it then needs to be approved again. I am again logged in as John Keller. And in this example, I'm going to open the business writing document to make editing changes. I'm prompted for the login to open the document, which is OK. The document opens, and I'll just make a few Little changes here to the title. And then I'll save the change and I'll close out of the document. I'm returned back to the library and you see for the business writing document, the approval status is now pending. Last modified by John Keller. So now I will log in as myself, an administrator, and approve the document. So I'm logged in back as myself, and to approve the modified document, just as I did the uploaded document, click the drop down for the document, choose Approve Reject, change it to Approved, and then OK. Then over in the Approval status, it has changed from Pending to Approved.